Hey guys, Brick Queen back here with day number 10 of our 2020 Lego Harry Potter advent calendar. Let's go ahead. Why waste any time? Let's see what is behind door number 10. It's all the way up in this top corner here. I know it's just like all, it's barely on camera even um, <laughs> because it almost didn't make it in the shot. But ooh, we have a minifigure today. We have Ron Weasley. Let's go ahead and check out our Ron Weasley. You know, one thing I love about the minifigures that are included uh, in this particular calendar is that they all have their cute little Yule Ball outfits on. And Ron, I know, like, he basically hated his um, and thought it was awful. But, you know, it stands out as different and unique and I for one am glad that uh that they did go ahead and give us uh Ron Weasley's Yule Ball outfit and just like with the other minifigures we've been getting two sets of wands each time so for one thing I have to say about this advent calendar is man are we getting a lot of extra wands which could be really awesome because you know I imagine these are going to be really easy to lose and also, there's so many other things that you could use, or you could uh, basically use these for. I mean, in the um, in the burrow set, they used wands as knitting needles. So I thought that was a super cute thing. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is the Ron Weasley that we get in this set. Um, he has the uh, kind of medium-sized legs. I think that's what we decided to call these. The short legs that move which I, like, I think everybody for years was like, Lego, please make short legs that move. <laughs> and they finally did. Yay, yay, yay. And I mean, we've gotten quite a few of them by now, honestly. But it's still, uh, to me, it's still something that I get excited about each time I see that they are using those again, um, which they've done quite a bit in Harry Potter, honestly. So let's expand and do it a lot in other themes. That would be awesome. Anyway, um, just check out his torso, though. This, I, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of cute just because, like, it, it does look a lot like the outfit that he, he wore um, that he basically hated. But, you know, if you shine the light on it just right, that's kind of why I'm holding it weird. Because um, if you shine the light on it just right, you can see all the extra detailing that is in this. They really put a lot of effort into this. And it does continue on the back. Really, really cool. And he does have two faces, uh, which I think is hilarious because this face really encapsulates how he felt about his, his outfit for this, honestly. Um, and it's also just really amusing because um, he was not happy <laughs> about wearing this. Um, but he also has a smiling face, uh, which I'm glad that they didn't just give him like an unhappy look. We have we have options here. Options are always great. Um, so I am super excited about uh, this particular Ron Weasley minifigure. I think it's great. I'm super happy that we got this version of Ron Weasley. It's great uh, to just add to um, the collection. I mean, I don't know how many different versions of Ron Weasley there are now. I know that there's there's one or two old versions that I'm missing right now. Um, one day I want to complete my collection um, because I know that there's there's a couple of old sets, you know, from like the 2001, 2002 time period, um, somewhere back in that zone that um, I missed a couple of sets. I do have a lot from that time period, but there's a couple from back then that I, I didn't get. Um, and so those I really want to maybe find on eBay one day or something uh, when I have some extra money um, to get those. Uh, but then I would have everyone Ron Weasley and I could do a big, huge comparison video on that. Um, I don't know why, but I love doing comparison videos. I like to see how how Lego changes their minifigures over time. I think that's really interesting. Uh, but anyway, 
I love this minifigure. Hope you guys do too. Uh, be sure to come back tomorrow and we'll see what's behind day number 11 right here. Um, love you guys so much. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you next time.